Hey boys and girls, Miss Boyd is back. I hope you enjoyed that story of Red Riding Hood. Now let's think about those five fingers and how we're gonna use them. So we have our characters, setting, beginning, middle, and end of the story. Now let's think about the characters. Hmm, who do we see on every page or every other page? I know I saw Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. I hope you did too and you thought about those are the main characters in the story. Great job. All right, now let's think about the setting of the story. Where did that story take? Take place. I hope you're thinking about a cottage because that's where Red Riding Hood lived and Grandma and the cottage was located in the woods. We're gonna make that a setting of our story. Good. Okay now let's think about the beginning. In the beginning of the story was where Red Riding Hood met up with that wolf at the very beginning of the story on her way to Grandma's house. We're gonna make that the beginning of our story. Now the middle of the story. Let's think what happened in the middle. I hope you're thinking about how the wolf tricked Grandma and tricked Red Riding Hood. And he pretended to be Grandma in the middle of that story. Oh no. Now let's think about the end of the story. What happened at the very end? I hope that you're thinking about the hunter and how the hunter saves Grandma and Red Riding Hood at the very end of the story. Oh, that was a great job. We have character setting, beginning, middle, and end. Use this strategy in your reading, and I hope that you can do it on the next slide. Think about everything that we've discussed, and I want you to match up Red Riding Hood and all of the pieces. Character setting, beginning, middle, and end. Thanks for listening.